H3 and 2 which is the spreading rapidly in country what precaution should be taken well uh, yesterday the director general of health services uh, took a meeting with all the senior uh, persons uh, from all the big central government hospitals, RML, Safdarjang, Lady Harding, and uh, uh, experts in medicine, pulmonary medicine. Everyone was present because the ministry is taking the matter seriously. So we had a big discussion and it was thought that even though COVID has, uh, for the moment, gone down a lot, but still, you have other viral infections which are happening, especially the one you named, the H3N2. So these also, you know, they could uh, be serious in patients who have low immunity or multiple comorbidities, right? So uh, in that meeting, uh, a lot of views were kept and the Director General Health Services is soon going to issue the minutes of the meeting, uh, his final opinion about what should be best. But, um, I mean, off the record, what we decided is that if people continue mass, especially in areas where there's a higher risk of infection, like hospitals, right, because a lot of patients come with different infections to hospitals, then uh, keeping a mask will be good for them because the mask not only prevents COVID, it also prevents other viral infections. And uh, so following healthy practices like sanitation, washing your hands uh, and uh, wearing a mask is what can help in this. And uh, we are also thinking on whether we should start vaccination for these viruses because a lot many countries like uh, the US and a lot of uh, European countries, they uh, give regular vaccination for uh, even influenza virus because the strain changes rapidly. So each year they immunize people and the idea is to protect people from these viruses also. Uh, is it related uh, to COVID? What are these symptoms? Well, all viral fevers, uh, you know, they, they have almost similar symptoms. You know, like you can have a running nose, you can have a mild cough, right? You can have fever, you can have body ache, headache. So it's common symptoms. It's very difficult to differentiate in the beginning that which viral uh, infection you have, right? So for that, we have to do certain tests, right? But the ICMR, etc., they have done these studies and they have found out that the infection currently that's going on, which is rampant, is the H3N2 and it is not COVID. तकरीबन हमारे पास 20 से 25 परसेंट पेशेंट जो आ रहे हैं जिनको गले का दर्द इन्फेक्शन खांसी बुखार इस तरह के सिम्टम्स हो रहे हैं तो पिछले तकरीबन एक दो महीने से हमारे पास इस पे इस तरह के पेशेंट्स आ रहे हैं तकरीबन 20-25 परसेंट हमारे पेशेंट वो हुआ है कब से बढ़े हैं केसेज ऑलमोस्ट दिसंबर से जी ये चेस्ट जब से सर्दी शुरू हुई है जी आ, आ, रोजाना कितने केसेज आते हैं रोजाना तकरीबन 20-25 परसेंट मैंने आपको बताया जो पेशेंट्स के अटेंडेंस हैं उनमें से 20-25 परसेंट पेशेंट ऐसे हैं जिनको अपर रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन हम लोग कहते हैं वो है जिसमें गला दर्द खांसी बुखार इस तरह के सिम्टम्स हैं जी तो इसमें सभी एज के हैं या कोई पर्टिकुलर एज आ, हमारे पास जो एडल्ट पेशेंट्स ही आते हैं लेकिन इसमें बड़ी एज के लोग पेशेंट ज़्यादा हैं जिनको सिम्टम्स ज़्यादा हो रहे हैं जी क्या प्रिकॉशन है सर इसके लिए 
प्रिकॉशन एक तो सबसे जरूरी है भीड़ भाड़ वाली जगह को अवॉइड करें मास्क पहन के रहें हाथ धोते रहें जो हमने कोविड के टाइम पे किया है वही प्रिकॉशन है प्लस वैक्सीनेशन इसके लिए जो सीजनल इन्फ्लुएंजा है उसके लिए वैक्सीनेशन सीनियर सिटीजन्स को ईयरली शॉट लेना जरूरी है